What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Backrooms lore video and today we're going to be going over level 4242, also known as the Swimming Hall. If you are into pool room styled content or levels with some strange colored water that has different anomalous effects, stick around because we're about to dive right in. Level 4242 has a survival difficulty of Class 3, which describes it as being unsafe, unsecure, and it has a moderate entity count. This level is an expansive labyrinth of tiled halls and public showers. That's kind of gross. <laughs> this level has an extremely high humidity, and as a result, there is a dense fog that usually covers a ton of the various rooms in the level. Also, the showers are usually on, and the water is either freezing cold or dangerously hot, so no lukewarm in between. Interesting thing about this level though, pneumonia is very very commonly caught by wanderers who linger in the level, so be very careful while you're in here, don't stay too long because you might catch pneumonia and you might die, so yeah, be very careful. Aside from the humid halls and the showers, there are also rooms that have pools in them, and the pools can range in size from simple kiddie pools to huge opulent lake-like pools that are surrounded by golden statues, and so yeah, kind of strange. But a vast majority of the pools in this level are actually going to be filled with an anomalous opaque liquid, and depending on the color of the liquid, it can have various anomalous effects. There are a few well-known entities on this level, the first being the pool fish, and as the name implies, they are entities that live in both the clear and opaque pools in the level, and they're pretty much normal fish that can resemble either a Siamese fighting fish or a marine angelfish from normal reality. However, the patterns on the bodies of these fish are not real patterns that you would find in reality. They are very strange and not physically possible. But all in all, these fish kind of behave exactly like they would in reality. They don't harm you and they don't harm each other, but if they're placed in a pool with a different color from the one it was found in, it will die of suffocation, so rest in peace, that's kind of sad. But if they are taken out and placed into a pool of the same color as the pool it was taken out of, it will be fine and it'll be able to reproduce as normal. But if it's placed in a pool by itself, it will be able to reproduce on its own until several more poolfish are in the pool, so that's kind of cool. The next entity is known as a water weird. They basically take on the form of these thick tendrils that come out of the water and they will actually differ in color depending on the water that it came from from. They are usually found in pools that don't have any entities in it, and although there are some pools in this level that don't have any entities in it at all, you will usually find these guys in pools that have no entities. Basically, the way they attack you, they kind of just grab you and then pull you into the water, and I mean, if the anomalous effects of the water don't kill you, then they will because they will drown you. There is one final entity, and I don't think you would actually class this as a different entity. It's, I guess, a kind of death of a water weird. It's called a befouled weird, and if you basically introduce a poolfish into a pool of their native color that is host to a water weird then the poolfish are going to pretty much grow in numbers and then weaken the water weird. As the poolfish keep growing and reproducing in numbers, then the befouled weirds will slowly die, and the surface of the liquid will appear to scream before growing completely still when a befouled weird actually dies. There are actually no known colonies or outposts on this level, which is kind of strange, I guess, because some of the pools do have almond water in it, so it might be a cool place to stock up. There are a ton of colored pools on this level with different anomalous effects, with the most common ones being violet and yellow pools, and it is not recommended to jump into any pool of an undocumented color unless you have had somebody else do it before. Any kind of interaction with a red pool can cause your flesh to bruise at the point of contact. Any interactions with an orange pool will lead to level 458 if you jump into them. Yellow pools will actually dry out your skin, and if you fully immerse yourself, it could take less than 30 seconds before all of your skin becomes flaky and dry and it cracks off. Green pools can cause gas gangrene if you jump into it or touch it. Blue pools will actually turn your blood into pure gasoline with no noticeable health effects, so that's kind of strange. Indigo pools will cause whoever jumped into the pool to experience audio-visual hallucinations as long as that someone is in it. Purple pools are the scariest of them all in my opinion, and it pretty much turns you into stone if you jump into it, and it's irreversible, so whoever jumps into it is pretty much dead. Violet pools, also jokingly called lean pools by wanderers, <laughs> increases one perception of time if jumped into, so if you jump into it, a decade could seem like an hour, so kind of cool. 
There are two direct ways to access the entrances for this level, and the first is to walk through a violet door in level 105, which will take you directly to this level. The second is to take a long corridor in level 37, which can rarely lead to the shower blocks of this level. In terms of exits, there's really not a reliable way out of here aside from no clipping and jumping into orange pools, or any door you find in the level that has a small chance of leading to a different level, but an actual exit has been discovered. No clipping into a shower will actually take you to level 37.5. So, cool. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did put a lot of time and effort into it, as always. If you want to smash the like button, all that good stuff, and subscribe, and leave a level recommendation down in the comments below, I will definitely try to get to it as quick as I can. And before this video ends, a special shout out to Zach Cole for suggesting this level. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all next time.